Hey there! Did you miss me? It's KYN, and we'll go back to my Let's Play of David Limbs, everybody. So, I finally got 400 meters 3 solved, but that was after struggling with it after a couple of days, and yeah, um, that lower is definitely way too difficult for its position, so it's another case of that. Um, yeah, there's so many red herrings that look like they can work, but no, ultimately they don't, and there's really only one way to do it, but, um, yeah, a lot of them were really good ones, though. Yeah, a lot of very good distractions. And there were a couple of times where I finally come up with something new, and I thought it was going to work, but uh, to my disappointment and dismay, they don't. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, there, there, um, and so I had to come up with something else, and yeah, finally came up with uh, the solution, yeah, sometime last night. And yeah, it's like I said, yeah, it's way too dif difficult for its position. So it also needs to move down uh, further in the rank. Um, so anyway, um, it's probably seems to be another case of slow going yeah, in the early parts of the rank. But uh, maybe I'll pick up some speed yeah, as we go on, though. But uh, we shall see. Yeah, because this is the third and final main rank of the pack. Um, and so I don't expect things to be pretty quick. Uh, given the very high difficulty yeah, since the beginning. So, um, yeah. We'll definitely see how everything goes after this. Um, but here's hoping that I won't like stumble upon another roadblock uh, very soon after this one. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into a let's play here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show the solution here. So yeah, 400 meters 3, the Inferno Moat. Yeah, a very, very tough one. But a really good solution, though. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. But um, yeah, um, definitely way too hard yeah, to be this early in the rank. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, before I show you the solution, let me go ahead and show you the things that I tried that don't work. So, in particular, you will probably remember this one. Um, did I bash in the right spot? Yes. At least I'm sure I did. So, here, uh, there's that one pixel gap here. Yeah. And you can build, yeah, in such a way so that it seals off the gap, so that nobody else can follow. Yeah, and then you would just climb over to get the button to unlock the exits. He turns around. And this would work, except, yeah, I had to use the shimmer to cancel. Yeah, because then I would shimmy over here and then build so that he gets to the exit. Yeah. And then the other alternative, yeah, is to use the bomber. But, yeah, this will always remove too much pixels uh, vertically so that you don't have that one pixel gap. Yeah. <coughs> Another application I've seen of this is to uh, use a walker instead. Yeah, so that you don't waste the other uh, valuable skills. But you don't have that skill here. So, um, yeah, you unfortunately cannot do that. Yeah, as for everyone else, yeah, you could ju essentially just mine here to uh, turn everybody else towards here. Yeah, um, so that doesn't work. And then another one I tried is this right here. Yeah, because I thought it was pretty ingenious. Yeah, basically I just use the builder to turn around here. And then, yeah, basically I just go underneath the, the floor here. Yeah, but unfortunately this leaves a little bit too much pixels of floor though. And also, um, yeah, it does not matter how you do this. Um, yeah, because the trigger, the trigger of the water is pretty low. You unfortunately would not be able to uh, use the part of the wall here in order to be able to climb up. Yeah, instead he'll just uh, dive underneath. And also for some very strange reason, um, you have to wait for them to drown before you assign the, the swimmer skill. Yeah, because I don't know what it is, but um, um, yeah, they, they essentially just fall off to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, if you assign them the swimmer skill too early. So yeah, here we just build around, and this is actually enough to. Um, make this uh, survivable yeah so like so yeah yeah because this is um, the trigger area is actually under uh, pretty far below yeah this overhang here yeah that's why you cannot connect with the wall and then be able to climb up but anyway yeah if I turn around here yeah see what I mean yeah even though he was able to get into the water yeah without the swimmer skill yeah for some very strange reason when he comes back the way he came from yeah, he actually falls off the screen rather than um, um, use the water. And so, <clears throat> yeah, 
this really really seems to be a bug though because um this is very inconsistent because why why should it make a difference where when uh he isn't a swimmer um yeah he is able to get into the water whereas when you assign the swimmer skill yeah why he why should he fall to the bottom instead of getting into the water yeah that is very inconsistent so yeah uh th this definitely needs to be reported though um so yeah i think i would do that after or something and so, uh, yes, this way doesn't work either. And then finally, the last thing I thought of, of was this. So, at the beginning, gonna go ahead and increase the release rate to 60 or so. And then drop it back down to the default. So, I built with the first lemming. Have this guy who fell down into the pit uh, climb up so that he escapes. And then the next one will stretch out his bridge so that you finish on time before anyone else falls in here. So essentially, it's the exact same thing as if you just mine, and then everybody else turns around when you max out the release rate. But here you spend two builders instead to do so. And then, when you try bombing up here... Yeah, now something like this would make the ceiling shimmyable. But... If you try to use that minor skill... Yeah, this does not make the rest of it uh, shimmyable. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you can see this by you kind of far right. Yeah, you're able to shimmy all the way up until you get to um, that very first uh, uh, vertical pixel down uh, right there. Yeah, that's where he gets interrupted. And then you could also... Um, uh, actually, no, that will also interrupt. Same thing with this one, I believe. Yeah, I think that might have been the same thing I did before. But uh, I think this one would allow him through. A little further than he normally goes. Um, I think it actually interrupted him. No, no, no. I think it actually interrupted him at the same spot. That yeah, very first uh, brown pixel. Yeah, inside the pillar. Yeah, and then you could... Um, also have him fall back for a pixel yeah but this time it actually uh because he's away from the wall yeah it just leaves it for an even bigger mess and so it does not make it shimmy ball at all and so yeah this was the part where i thought i was onto something but yeah unfortunately because of this right here yeah you unfortunately will never make it in such a way so that he's able to shimmy all the way across yeah this is where he will always stop Although, you can certainly get this to work. Yeah, just part of the wall, at least. You do it like this, and then you, and then you bash. And then you'll be able to shimmy all the way across here. But, uh, if you try to shimmy over here, yeah, then he'll stop over here. Because, essentially, what will happen is, uh... You essentially will have a skill in order to destroy this to, uh, make the fall survivable. But, he, yeah, he has no way to turn around, yeah. Instead, he'll climb the very far right. Yeah, and then he gets into that mess, yeah. If you don't shimmy, then he'll just fall down flat. And, uh, you don't really have any other skills to make up for it. Yeah. And this will also make this, um, not shimmyable as well. This darn pixel right here. Actually, I think he actually stops, yeah, right before it, too. By the way. Yeah, you do it like this. Doesn't matter. Let me go ahead and max out the release right here. Yeah, you could also have him exit yeah, before the the entire crowd comes out at the entrance, but um, yeah, that still doesn't um leave you with a solution because um, yeah. Oh, he he stops right here. As a matter of fact, yeah, not inside the bomber hole. Um, yeah, because it's actually if the climber exits, yeah, then you don't have any other climbers in the level and so yeah all this here and then here and then here yeah all these do not work and so the actual solution is this so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh build and then i'm gonna have him climb Yeah, you have to place this uh, bomber somewhat precise here. Uh, I think that might be correct. Yeah, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and max out the release right here. Yeah, because what's important here is that you make sure that this is not, um, uh, the builder does not get interrupted. Yeah, this was extremely difficult to see, but, uh, yeah, I later, uh, came upon this realization. I was like, wait a minute, what if the pillar wasn't here? Yeah, would he be able to build all the way across uninterrupted and connect with the platform here? Yeah, and the answer is yes. Yeah, but you do need to stretch out your bridges, though. Yeah, so you have to start at the extreme edge and then stretch out, uh, the remaining bridges here. Yeah, that's how the three builders are used in this level. So, like I said, this is the hardest part to see in the solution, in my opinion. And so, yes, everybody turns around. Yeah, except the last one in the train here. Uh, is he going to get interrupted? Oh, good. Yeah, so he keeps on going. Yeah, so the miner, yeah, now he gets a swimmer. And he's not a climber yet, so I need to make him a climber. Yeah, and then finally, you just have to stretch that bridge out. Okay, and then also, you'll need to um, uh, bash the crowd out here. And yes, this is surmountable. Uh, but just barely, though. But luckily, this will always work out, given the design. Yeah, but quite honestly, yeah, I would also, like, um, um, like, uh, make it not so, so precise so that he is able to, like, get up, though. So, certainly that could, uh, work by, um, basically, uh, making the wall a little higher, I guess, but, um, um, but anyway, um, yeah, and now all that's left to do is that when the climber turns around, yeah, he, um, Shim means by uh, using the platform and also the builder staircases to get back, yeah, towards the right. And so, contrary to what you might think, yeah, no climbers actually go to this exit. Yeah, but rather, the, cl the surviving climber actually goes to this exit over here. Yeah, which I thought was a really, really nice, um, like, um, unexpected twist, yeah, in the solution. So, yeah, it's like I said, this is a really good level. Yeah, the solution is really nice, but... Yeah, it is extremely difficult. Yeah, definitely one of the hardest levels of the pack, too. Yeah, and so, as a result, in my opinion, this needs to move further down the rank. Because this is way too difficult for its position this early in the rank. But, yeah, again, I, um, I, um, think David did a really good job with the low. But, um, uh, yeah, way too hard, though. Um, but a really good one. Uh, anyway, moving on. 400 meters 4, Queen's Palace, episode 11. So, the 11th iteration of the low. And plenty of pretty obvious changes here as well. Yeah, there's some, like, um, uh, holes inside the, turn, inside the floor this time. Um, same skill set as usual. Uh, let me see. Uh, mm, this seems to be maybe built here to make it survival. I think he's just going to fall in the pit. Yeah. Oh, and he connects. Okay. So he seals that up. Adele, maybe that's what we wanted. He's just gonna connect every time, okay. Okay, um... So, it looks like we have no choice but to, like, bash out and then to, like, build or something. And then, do we need to do it again? Yeah, are you gonna splash here? like so. Oh, they were also spot there. Hmm. And that was like on the very first opportunity as well. Okay, in that case, uh, we'll have to make sure that they are able to get across done. Then I think if you bash lower, you should become survivable. 
Let's see if we can move to that pixel there. No. Hmm. No, it's actually not survival. Okay, which means they would need help from the other entrance then, right? Unless, uh, maybe we just go all the way across. Okay, so it looks like that's all the timing there. Go across and then you bash. And then... mm. Okay, but that uses up the last of our builders, though. So it's, it's my height either way. And yeah, it looks like they would they won't probably reach across. Although I guess it could work if um if you like uh go at the very end though. Yeah, then they'll be able to reach the other side. But then you bash through here, and then they cannot escape down here. Okay, um... Let's see, you bash here. Go to cross. And then maybe, um... Bash through here. Yeah, but then these guys have no way of escaping. Tells me it might just all be due to, due to timing here, but and yeah, it just seems to be like the same situation as before, where that's actually a fall that's not survivable by pixel. Certainly, what uh, one of the hardest Queen's Palace levels, which I kind of did not ex expect, given how like relatively easy these levels are. They are, in a way, kind of a, like a breeder put in between. Yeah, like every four levels of the rank, or rather, every fourth level of the rank. Um. Well, if you bash down here, then you can make the fall survivable. So, it does make me wonder, what are those climbers for? Yes, the ball becomes survivable now. Okay, so it looks like the climb is just for a delay then. So yeah, it looks like it's 
That's actually all due to timing here. Oh, they can't even get to the other side. Yeah, so that seems pretty precise there. So in that case, he'll need to be delayed twice with the climbing. Yeah, to give him enough time to build. Although, is this even survival? Yeah. So even with that raised pixel it is. Yeah, and it's still a couple of pixels leeway there. Yeah, perfect. So that leaves you with a climber uh, remaining. Which, um, I'm guessing it's still fine. Oh boy. <laughs> that one was uh, far harder than I expected, but yeah, still a nice one though. Oh, 400 meters, 5. Bash and dash. 59 is 49 to be saved. Okay, and I see the digger pickup. Uh, and in the L3 uh, lab, Tao said, yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, mostly because green's my favorite color. Ooh, so pretty much 10 of everything except for the bombers and the basher, where they're one of each. Oh, and also the digger when we collected. Ooh, mm. Oh, it must be that being able to bash upwards, you know, that trick. Yeah, because given the uh, setup, yeah, it's already done for you, okay. So yeah, clearly it's bashing out, yeah, to the right here. Yeah, there's no other way around it. And there's no way to reach the exit without the um, digger pickup. Um... Ooh boy. Ooh boy, are you kidding me? Yeah, I think I see where this is going, but... Yeah, are you kidding me though? Oh my goodness. This looks like it's not gonna be fun to, um, execute and whatnot. No, I suppose that's the reason why there are surplus skills here. Yeah, did you even go the other way here? Yeah, exactly. It has to be something like that. Yeah, you're you're kidding me. Yeah, there's definitely will not be fun to execute. Yeah. 
It's another one of those levels where, yeah, it's nothing but the trick, but still, yeah, it's not going to be fun to execute whatsoever. So, in a way, this kind of reminds me of that one Lemmy's Plus Omega 2 level, where it was um, pretty similar, except you needed to keep a fencer going in the other direction after bouncing it off a blocker. So I suppose this won't be as frustrating, but still. And yeah, I thought I had, um... Yeah. This is not this is definitely not one of my favorites to do because Yeah, maybe, 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 just maybe, you have to like do it uh, when you get onto the um, straight part of the platform because. that.
He managed to get pretty far that time. Yeah, there we go. Now I just need to interrupt. The stacker so that uh, they do not block the others. Oh boy. Yeah, sorry. This is not this is not one of my favorites to do. Show that it's possible to like save everyone. No, this actually came pretty close to splat height, although we could just uh, mitigate that by um, stacking inside the um, digger shaft. Well, not like that, though. Yeah, like that. But it's not really necessary, though. That stack isn't necessary. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry, David. It's this slow is not one of my favorites at all. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of that. That means plus two, plus omega two level, where it's the same thing but uh, with a fencer instead. Yeah, and in that one you only have platformers and stackers to do so, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here, however, yeah, uh, it's a neat concept and everything, but yeah, um, definitely do not uh, like over rely on that. Like, um, in plenty of levels that you make. Yeah, because I can guarantee you, uh, people will not enjoy it. Yeah, as I, as I didn't. Um, but I do admit that the concept is really nice, though. But, uh, yeah, already seen it before. Just, um, um, you just, um, do it with a different skill. And also, luckily, uh, you do provide a lot of surplus skills, though. Yeah, because apparently it can only be, it could just be achieved with, like, four stackers or something like that. But to do so is extremely, extremely difficult and fiddly. Uh, anyway, moving on. 400 meters 6, cloning lab. 1 living 4 to be saved. So there should be at least be at least 3 cloners here. And this is a tile slot that I haven't seen in a while. Although, uh, one of Itchel's lows did this. Yeah, one of his condo slows did this. Oh, one of everything except for the cloners where we have 4. So, we can actually lose 1 here. After using all cloners. Okay, and everyone is a pre-assigned swimmer and climber. Okay. Okay, and we have three buttons to push. One of which is upside down. Um. So because of that, yeah, this pit is safe. It's just that um, there's the uh, low side over here. Okay. Well, I think it's just a simple matter of just blocking in front of the lock exit, though. Oh, actually, there's only one lemming, so. Yeah, so only he will get in trouble. Yeah, if we don't block with him or something. Okay, uh, this probably doesn't look like it's going to be fun either. Yeah, though I suppose the obvious way is to like just go over here or something. But right anyway. Oh, and you're actually blocked right there. That's destructible, okay. Oh. Oh, and there's a gap there, okay. I, I honestly did not see that. And let me interrupt you with a shimmer instead, because I want to, like, be able to, like, jump up there or something. Okay, you can't even reach up there while using the builder first.
Or what if you stock and then can you build an enclave in order to reach it? Nope, you've already built too much. Okay, um... Yeah, so it doesn't seem possible to, like, reach that, uh, well, jumping. It's just that, what other ways are there to, like, get up the level? Although, wait a minute. What if you build first instead, and then you clone after? Uh, it still doesn't seem like it's reachable, though. Yeah, even with the help of a stacker. No, it's not. And then, maybe, just maybe, we could just use a bomber here instead. Yeah, because I feel like the... Basher and the miner would be uh, more useful elsewhere. In particular, I'm thinking the basher bar goes up here. Yeah, that seems to be like the most effective way to like uh, get through the low, especially since uh, everywhere else seems to be um, not as effective. Yeah, though, looks like you can just clone a builder and then stack. Yeah, and then you'll be able to get up here. You can jump and then shimmy. But, uh, I can probably see, like, maybe bombing here instead. Yeah, and then, like, basically gliding into the... Um... The hole, but uh, the thing is, uh, the shimmer would be going the other way when we clone him. Yeah, so that would probably be a problem. Yeah, not unless I have him going to the left first. Yeah, then I can clone a couple of times. Same thing with the jumper, I guess. Why don't we try that? Uh, then again, the one who goes out to the left, he won't be able to get up there, huh? Yeah, I suppose that's why he takes the bottom or something. I don't think he'll be able to skip now either. Okay, how did you Okay, that's what I thought. Just gonna glide over there and then Um dodge the trap. The rest of these, these guys can mine themselves free. Yeah, it's just this guy who gets into trouble. So it's pretty close, yeah. Just saves three. Yeah, not four though.
yeah, but, um, yeah, it's not really possible to get in there, though. Uh, actually, hang on. It would be if we clone twice, it appears. So maybe it's not possible after all, but um It really does seem to be the way to go, though. Now, what is that blocker used for? Oh, wait, and there's a gap here, too. I've got to take that into account. So, no, that solution would not save three. It wouldn't save anyone. Map five. Couldn't you um just use a climber and then clone? Climber, sorry, jumper. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, but then you have to like use something else here. Yeah, even 
something like that, he won't be able to reach that. Um, yeah, because I already used the jumper, so... Yeah, and then he doesn't even get high enough for that. Because now you have to use like a stacker to do so. Um, you can also use a blocker here, but um, yeah, that essentially loses one as well. Um. No, uh, I guess the, um... Basically by doing it this way, um... Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I don't know if it's possible to, like, release that locker by... Yeah, it is, but... Um, it destroys the staircase, so that he falls. Yeah, and even if he <clears throat> was able to bash on through, he would like fall down and splat eventually. Okay, um. I'm gonna also see like maybe stacking here. Quite possibly. Um Yeah, what is that blocker for though? And plus you went other way, would it be possible to like bash it then jump to hit this? It's probably, it's probably not possible since like we probably won't even have a jump for available. Yeah, and actually, uh, I think there would be a way to like not get into the trap, maybe just build. Maybe it's just a simple matter of building over it. And then I think, believe the gliders will be able to hit this and then go the other way. But yeah, uh, it seems then the way to go would be to like jump here and clone or something. That probably is the way to go. But then the question becomes, yeah, how do you get the other buttons? This essentially seems to force a builder. Yeah, that's how the jumper here. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, then again, there's this right here, too. Yeah, I suppose we could just mine there as well. Yeah, it's not possible to reach that, is it? Yeah, at least not without gliding, it appears.
Yeah, then we can reach that. Okay, and then he gets down there. Okay, um... Work, it appears. Yeah, it's just that I will be let's go short. Yeah, Cause then I can just do this. Then stack here. And then yeah. Yeah, then we're just go short. Yeah, if he wasn't a glider, yeah. At that time, yeah, then I think we'd be set probably. Yeah, it's just that, yeah, is it possible to even get in here while being glider? Which it probably isn't. Also, this guy is like stuck down there, it appears. Yeah, maybe unless I use a blocker somehow, but um. Hmm. Um. Uh, then again, I think if we stack. Yeah, then we'd be able to like maybe jump it then. Um jump and clone or something. Um Yeah, but then that doesn't leave us with spinning choices there. Um Still be a skill short though, so um hmm. Yeah, this is really close though. Um... I 
actually. Oh, actually, no, no, that won't work because I use the jumper here. Yeah, you need the help of a stacker as well. Yeah, so that's really the thing. Yeah, what is that blocker for? Still be a skill short. Well, this time I'm two skills short. Thank <laughs> you. 
the way to go though. It's still gonna leave me a skill short anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find a way to like not use a miner there. Um, and also uh, being able to get a non glider here. Well, actually no, I think that won't work either because uh, these other guys will get into danger. So no, it wouldn't quite work. So it still begs the question, yeah, what is that blocker for? Well, it's just another one of those levels. Yeah, I need to like think about some more. Um, there's a build down here instead, but um, it's not gonna do as much good though. Uh, and I suppose even if I um. such a way, um, yeah, one, two, but in order to do it faster here, we would need bomber, it appears, so yeah, that essentially would account for all of the skills here. think um which essentially means that uh it would seem that everyone would need to like go up here then yeah it's just that the, the guy who was going to the left here he's essentially stuck down here
does seem very likely that he needs to like go to the bottom though. Yeah, and I suppose if we build here. Yeah, just could actually serve as a platform probably. after uh, when cloning no matter what so yeah it really does seem that uh, jumping in a cloning is the way to go right here um, Only do not turn around though. Yeah, it's the only other way I can think of is like just um Oh actually no he's yeah then he would like spot down here. Okay, so it's nice that we can um, place him with a bomber this way. But yeah, it's like I said, yeah, now he's gonna hold on spot here. Mm, I guess unless we um Yeah, maybe if we clone it stacker, then maybe he'll maybe he'll survive it. Let's see though. Oh, no, you can just release him from the other side. Okay, yeah, so there's no need to do it from the right side, then. Okay, yeah, it is survival. Okay, it looks like we have it, then. Tricky one. Yeah, that blocker was especially very difficult to see. Yeah, so it's like survivable by one or two pixels. I slow though, but wow. Difficult one. In a little over two minutes there. Alrighty, that level took quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here. So, um, that was actually pretty good. Um, got, um, four levels solved. So, including, uh, four enemy street, which I got stuck on for a pretty long time. Um, so yeah, um, still a bit far away from the double digits, but that's okay. Yeah, we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and make a cut here. And so, tune in next time for one, and let's play more of the pack. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all next time.